There's another one. All right, y'all, welcome back to Hookset TV. Me and my buddy Joe are up at Pretty Boy Reservoir. We're gonna catch crappy, bluegills, bass, pretty much whatever wants to bite today. We're up here bright and early. We just uh, marked some fish and we're gonna get at it. Let's see how it goes. I'm gonna start off with a waxy. Yeah, me too. How deep are we? Seven and a half. Alright everybody, I didn't have the camera rolling because I thought there was no fish in here and Joe proved me wrong. You're keeping that, right? Look at that, look at this. Pretty boy monsters right there. <laughs> you gonna get a weight? 0 0.20. Oh, that's your PB. <laughs> oh, I think it's skunk. Alright y'all, it's about 11 o'clock. We've been struggling all day. Joe caught a crabby in 37 feet of water on the bottom. And that's, uh, that's all we got to show for today. I missed a couple on a jig inside of a cove. It's probably a little fish, but uh, didn't hook up with it. Well, it's getting warmer out. The cold front last night seemed like it shut down the morning bite. But the afternoon is supposed to get pretty warm. We're already starting to find warmer water. So um, we'll see if we can't find them. We'll see if they don't move up a little bit, get a little more active when the water warms up a bit. All right, y'all, let's get at it. Now by next weekend, we'll get a week of warm weather. You know. Yeah, save, save them for next weekend. I don't know about next weekend, but... We'll do some... Uh... It's gonna take a lot of bluegill. Some crappy will start moving up. There you go. Get out of here. Crappy. They're bad. I like they're bad. First cast. Yeah. You prick. <laughs> Waxy. <laughs> Today's been so shit, I'm actually jealous of that little guy. <laughs> Bared. It just hit the water. Uh huh. <laughs> sitting in there with a bluegill bed usually. Hopefully there's another one. These little pieces of night crawlers. I just tipped mine with a waxy. Little white bird. So they're on the bottom, the marks? Yeah, getting bigger marks up high. Got them. Oh, we're finally getting on some fishies. White. Did you hear that shit over there? Yeah. There's something floating on the water. White perch. White perch. He wasn't big enough to keep. My girlfriend wanted me to bring fish home today. <laughs> That was wishful thinking. Yeah. <laughs> she's, she's starving. Got another one. Looks like I'm going to be tipping with minnows. 
We didn't get nothing else. What we got this time? Same thing. Another whitey? Oh, I just got hit. No one's big enough to keep. We got it right now. I just had a little nip. He's he nine, he's mine. <laughs> <laughs> I think he just took my waxing. Well, my cousin was just hit. There's a big fish right there above the white perch. That fish probably three feet long. Two feet long. Yeah, I've seen enough. I just got a, I got a tap. I think he just took the, he took the waxy off the back of this. Don't hit the wax, bro. Oh, don't hit that. There he is. Got him. Grab it. Uh, I said shaking now. I will catch a fish today, y'all. I will catch a fish today. Joe is showing me up today. You gotta shit that thing out. There he is. Yeah, Joe. We're about to double up, son. <laughs> Big one here. Yeah. Put his ass in the cooler. Come on, Joe, let me have one. Just let me have one, Joe. This is a good one. That motherfucker's boring, Joe. Boy. Oh, what we got? What we got? Another white. Dinner. Got one, finally. Yeah, Joe, look at me. Like a professional. What, Joe? I ain't getting skunked. Oh, it up. I ain't getting skunked. What you want, son? What you want, son? Look at that. In your face. In your face. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in the face. There we go, everybody. No skunk for me. What's that, like seven to one? I got some catching up to do. Come on, Joe. When are you gonna catch a big one like mine? Mine was like 11. Look at that. Check that guy out. That's not a white perch. Depends on where you live. Now, if that guy got a little bit bigger, I'd keep him. Not a giant fan of white perch. Eating them at least. I don't care for them either. But you know what I can use them for? Which I ain't even thinking. What? I can use them for crab bait. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm not even thinking we should be throwing every one of them some bitches in the cooler. <laughs> Serious. Hey, go for it. Ain't no, I've used them for crab bait before. Ain't, ain't no size limit. Oh, I got bit, I got bit. God! Here we go, Joe. I figured them out, Joe. You got any pointers? I ain't got your line. This one ain't got your line. Well, that's the biggest one of the day. Oh, we doubled up. Yeah, you got me. Awesome. Thought you had one too. Nah. No, no. You want this guy for crab bait? Yeah, we'll start keeping them, I guess. All right. I'll cut them puppies up and chunk, chunk, chunk them up. This one's a good size. We were throwing these back because we didn't want to eat them. But Joe's going to keep them crab meat. Yeah, I'll take the electric knife. It's starting to look like we're going to catch a mess of them. Yeah, we should have. Alright everybody, we spent all morning out here trying to find crabby. Trying to find some bass. Some bluegill. We had no luck. 
But uh, Joe started marking fish way out in the deep water. We're in like 40 feet of water right now, all the way at the bottom, catching white perch. We don't really want to eat them, but uh, Joe does a lot of crabbing in the summertime, and he's gonna freeze these and uh, use them for bait in the summertime. So while they're biting, we're just gonna we're just gonna keep catching them, and have some fun. All right, let's see how many we can pull in. I put the I put the crazy horse minnow on to try to catch a big one and I catch this little fella. <laughs> That's a, you wanted this little one too? Yeah, fuck it, throw Yeah, everybody, there's there's no size limit on these guys. There's no limit on how many you can keep. So Joe's going to fill his freezer and have, uh, have crab bait for months and months if we keep catching them like this. Take a lot of them. Take a lot of them to bait the line. Did you get them with anything, with any bait? No, no, just this. Bouncing it off the bottom. This is what I finally got the crappy to bite on down Aquaquan. Put a little waxy on there. This uh, red horse minnow. Yeah, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna pop back up. Oh, oh this wind's terrible. It, it just got worse. This wind is making making my video so so trash. So um, we're probably gonna have like a big musical montage or something so I don't have this crap audio all over my video. So be ready for that. All right, y'all, that's gonna do it. We got out here this morning. It was freezing cold. The water was a lot colder than we were expecting. We tried to catch bass, we tried to catch crabby. We couldn't get any bites. We moved to the other side of the lake. We started marking fish really deep, like 40 feet, 35 feet of water. We fished them, wind up being white perch. We wound up catching a whole mess of white perch that Joe's gonna use next month for crabbing bait. 
So we had a lot of fun, but that's going to do it. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. I got a giveaway coming up. You don't want to miss that, so make sure you subscribe. That's the only way to win. And until next time, thanks for watching Hookset TV.